What's up guys? Welcome back to Luke Ranch Farms. Today, Betsy and I are back in the kitchen. We're getting ready to make some chow chow. Um, you seen the short video we did the other day out in the garden, getting cutting cabbage. And um, this is part of a batch that we made up, what, about a week ago? Mm -hmm. And we're just about sold out of this, so we gotta get some more on the, uh, get started on some more. But before we do that, if you are not a subscriber to our channel, reach over here in this right hand corner and click that subscribe button and click the bell notification so you get notified every time we put out a video. But if you are one of our faithful subscribers, it's good to have you back. All right, so before we get started, there's a lot that goes into making this stuff. It's not just like a one and done type thing. It takes how long to make this? 24 hours. So 24 hours into one batch and we've got to get started on it at night so it'll be ready to put in the water bath tomorrow night. And uh, we spent early part of the day cutting up cabbage and uh, getting everything ready but basically gonna show you what goes into it you know and the steps she takes to get everything ready so it turns out like it does okay so first thing you want to do is put gloves on um, we've already cut everything up we've already chopped everything up today but I'm gonna tell you what goes into it so we have a clean pan here because everything won't fit in one of our bowls I'm gonna stick it over here and then we got a strainer and I put green peppers and I did our, we already cut our onions up and our tomatoes up, so I'm gonna pour them in here in the strainer. And then you just want to strain it out real good before you put it in the pan. Get all the juice out of it that you can. Can you see that, David? You just push all that stuff down because it's got all that juice in it. Strain it real good. And then you stick it or put it all in there and then you get the red peppers we always put red peppers and, and if you have orange or yellow peppers you just put those in there too and six jalapeno peppers but I always put extra jalapeno peppers because we like it a little hot or mild we don't like it too hot but seems like it always comes out right because everybody loves it all right, so we strained the red, orange, yellow. We just put all different colors. They say just red, but we always put all different colors because it just makes it look so pretty. Then you put one large head of cabbage, and we've always, we've narrowed that down to six, what, six pounds? Six pounds. Six pounds. So really don't have to strain that too much because it's just all, and we'll strain it again tomorrow. The main thing we want to do is get it all mixed up here together and I always put a little bit of extra cabbage I don't know why I just do I guess because it makes it go longer a long ways but that's about maybe six and a half seven pounds and chop it up fine a lot of people like that cabbage chopped up in big chunks but it looks so much better when you chop it up fine and then the, the colorful stuff you can do a little chunkier but you need to mix all that up so we have our tomatoes, our cabbage, our peppers, the green peppers, the bell peppers, and we have our colorful peppers, the red peppers and yellow and orange. Um, we have our large head, a little bit larger though, because I always use a little bit extra, chopped up. And we have our six hot bit of peppers, jalapeno peppers. And we have the onions in here. So we're gonna just kind of mix it all together here, make it mix it as good as we can so we can pour the cup of salt well it's a half a cup of salt but I always put a little extra because um, all you do is kind of strain it off the next day and then you start making your pickling liquid so this looks really good and it smells like have I, it smells like pico de mayo is it de mayo pico de something <laughs> Okay, you get it mixed up really good and it smells so good when you're mixing it up. And it looks really pretty. You got all those colors in there. Just mix it real good. See, I didn't even get those peppers at the bottom. Make sure you take the large chunks out. And try to get all that at the bottom lifted up here. This is gonna be, see, I got a big old chunk right there. That, okay, just mix it real good. And then we'll pour our pickling salt over it and let it rest overnight and start back in the morning to make this second batch 
of chow chow. Get it all level. Big chunk here. Okay, so we got got it all mixed up now. And we're going to pour this salt, sprinkle salt over the top of it. And that's pickling salt. Pickling right? salt. We're going to sprinkle it over the top. And then we're going to cover it up and we're going to let it rest overnight. And then we'll start back in the morning straining it and making our pickling liquid. And we'll see you in the morning. Okay, it's the next morning and we got our chow chow out of the refrigerator after setting all night. And we're going to put our gloves on and we're, well, I'm going to put my gloves on and he's going to hold it over the strainer and we're going to pour it in the strainer and strain it out. And, okay, and while it's straining, we'll show you how to make our pickling liquid. All right, I'm going to put my gloves on while David's going to get the tub and we're going to pour this into the strainer a little bit at the time. Let's do the corn. Well, let's I'll hold it. put it down in here. There we go. And then you hold it up while I strain it mm -hmm. and get it in there. It's hard to work with this big old tub, but we make so much of it, we got to have it. it comes in handy. We need some more of these, don't we? Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to take out a little bit at the time and get as much as I can in the strainer. And then we'll pour it into the pot a little bit at the time. So you want to get it really good and strained as much as you can so press down on it and if you can find one of these strainers it's the best ever because they hold a lot okay so we're gonna add our four cups of vinegar and then two cups of water six cups of sugar Add the turmeric and the dry mustard and the brown ginger. And then we put our mustard seed and our celery seed in our cheesecloth and tie it up really good so the seeds don't escape. And we'll stick it in our pickling liquid. So we got everything in here, all of our ingredients, and we're going to stir it until the sugar dissolves. So then we can add our chow chow mixture and bring it to a bowl and boil it for three full minutes and then we can add it to the jars. Alright, so now we're gonna, our sugar's melted and we're gonna add it in a little bit at the time. And then we'll stir it in and then wait for it to boil. Okay, so we got it all in here and we're waiting for it to boil so we can time it and it looks so good. Okay, it's come to a boil now. You can zoom in on it and <clears throat> it's boiling, so we're going to let it boil for three minutes. Okay, Google, set timer for three minutes. Short, three minutes. Starting now. Right before you ladle it, I always like to put some hot water over the lids. The chow chow over here is ready to ladle into the jars and David's gonna start ladling. Man, it looks good, don't it? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I think we put more red peppers in it this time. It'll be so pretty. Where you wanna get it, just a little. All right, he needed that doohickey. <laughs> so, tell him what you got. So I got the thing to pick up the lid to get the air bubbles out. Okay. All right, so I'm finished loading the last of it into the jar. We're going to have to go back and top off some of them with a spoon to get the head space right. But I guess going to get the air bubbles out and it should drop a little bit. Just yeah. a you have enough to fill this one up? No. Oh man. No. So well, there's one enough. right here you need to fill. Yeah, that's probably gonna be enough to fill that. That's good. Get it all filled up, and then we're gonna put the. Definitely lids. not gonna waste it. No. That looks good. How many we get? 
17 pints in one quart. Yay, that looks good. Looks really good. While he's finishing up scraping all of the rest of it out, I'm going to go through here and get the air bubbles out. So, you just want to go around the side of the jar and then kind of stick it in the middle. Okay, when we get through getting the air bubbles out, what we'll do is we'll wipe the rims off, put the lids on, and stick them in the canner. We're going to wipe off the rims. David, you already wiped off a bunch of them, didn't you? Mm -hmm. So you got that, those four? Yeah. So it's important to get the, the rim clean so it makes a good seal. Got anything on it that won't seal them. Won't be good for storage. You have to put it in the refrigerator and eat it now. David's still wiping the whims. <laughs> no, we almost got all the whims. <laughs> Done it again. Okay. Wheel bad, Widgie. <laughs> okay, we almost have the rims wiped. So now we're going to go on. And I'm gonna put the lids on and he's gonna screw the top on. And uh oh. And tap of the tap the water off. The hot water off the lid and try to keep them as um, upright and still as possible so the food inside don't wiggle around and get in between the lid before you can start water bathing it. It's hard to pick these lids up. Some of them stick together. Okay. Okay, so we're putting them in the um, water bath now, and we're gonna bring it to a bowl, and then we'll set the timer for 10 minutes. Okay, so our water bath is boiling now, so we're gonna start our timer. Okay, Google, time 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes. And yeah, we're starting now. Okay, and while it's boiling, that's a good time to go ahead and clean up everything, and like the our wonderful pot here. That's a good pot. I love my pot. And Jace is going to clean the ladle up. Watch him. <laughs> How do you clean that ladle up? Oh boy, that's good, ain't it? All right, so the first batch just came out. Basically, we'll get those out of the canner and then sit them to the side and then we'll get the second batch ready to go in there. Make sure all these are going to pop. All right guys, so we got the first batch out. We got nine pints out of the first batch and we got actually seven pints and one quart left to do. Yep. So we made 17 pints and one quart out of that batch there. And there's a lot of good that goes into that process. There's a lot of material that goes into it. There's a lot of prep. There's a lot of you know, actual hands-on that it takes to make this stuff. So we'll make sure all these set, everything pops before we actually put it in the pantry in there for sale. And then, uh, yeah, that puts us that much more ahead of the game. So what's next? Cucumbers? Cucumbers. Yeah, we we'll gotta do, do pickles. Pickles. We gotta do pickles. We've been uh, people asking about pickles, so we got our hands on some cucumbers, so we're gonna make some pickles here in the next few days. So guys, if y'all haven't subscribed, reach over that right hand corner and click that subscribe button. And see you on the next one. See you on the next one. <laughs>